the beach to the bed so quick. Like, no comment. <laughs> Alright, so hey Scouts, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the time we're doing another episode, guys, do I remember what happened last episode? No. I feel like this one, I just, I can't remember. <laughs> so we're just going to jump straight into it, see what the tea and drama and all of that is. So let's just get straight into it. All right. Voting time is over. It is now time to announce which of our six bachelors you believe to be a player and which girl is being sent home with him. Better not be us. That's all I'm saying. The bachelor you believe to be a player is my Miles and Ava. That's not who I picked, but okay. I was hoping it was gonna be Lilith's man and her. Okay. Are you effing serious? Sorry, Ava. Oh, he's so mad. This is because you threw your damn paintball at me. I feel like he is a player because he's getting very mad. I only did that because you laughed at me, you ass. Maybe if you weren't taking selfies, I wouldn't have laughed at you. I mean, he kind of has a point. Okay, guys, chill. <laughs> yeah, relax. Obviously, you aren't meant to be together. Please make your way to the podium. It's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to find out if we have one million or left, or if you finally eliminated one of those pesky players. Drum roll, please. Miles, are you a millionaire or are you a player? I am a player. A player. See, I knew it because... <laughs> Well, I didn't know it, but like I knew it from his reaction just now, you know? Ha! I knew it! You knew it? You were very handsy for someone who thought I was the player? <laughs> oh no, not the call out. Excuse you, shut up! Uh, oh, oh, the way everyone shook. Yeah. What? So we went to second base! <laughs> she said, no big deal. <laughs> Third, actually. Okay, Miss Ava, girl. Maybe third. He's hot, okay? Yeah, he's a player, but a hot one. So now we bid farewell to our second couple and finally one player gone. Okay, so maybe our guy is really a millionaire. Maybe, like, um, maybe, 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 I don't know. I don't know. That's tip the scales in your favor, ladies. But there's still a long way to go before we reach the final. And we have a lot of players to eliminate in the meantime. But that's a job for our next elimination. Um, they're in the back. They're... <laughs> <laughs> they're in the back. Unt um, they're making out. Okay. Until then, we bid goodnight to Miles and Ava. Miles? Ava? <laughs> yeah, they are uh, in a situation right now. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we say goodbye to Miles and Ava. And for the rest of you, as they go back to it, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Be sure to get some sleep because we have a surprise for you tomorrow. How do I feel about being eliminated? Whatever. At this point, I came in to find love and instead I found... Miles. You found Miles, a super hot player. She said, I mean, at least I'm getting played. At least he's good looking. Honestly, yeah, yeah. And I mean, the name of the game is don't hate the player. So I think there'll be a lot of loving happening with that player in the future, if you know what I mean. Ava, girl, okay, she said no secrets. Back in the villa, you pace your room, unable to settle as Colt watches you from the bed. Do you want a massage or something to help you relax? The way he's just offering. No, we don't. I'm sorry. No. I don't think that would help. I feel so agitated, stressed, anxious. Well, the way you're walking around, I would say anxious. The elimination tonight was so stressful. I feel like my blood is still flooded with adrenaline. Tonight, when Javier hesitated before saying the name, I swear I heard your name in my mind. Did I say that? I don't know why I ever thought I read that wrong. <laughs> I did the same thing. You did? Yeah. That was the longest pause in my life. But it wasn't us. We're still here. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Stop kidding around. I don't want to be rid of you. I want to be with you. Madison. I'm with you now, but I can't just watch you pace the room like it's a jail cell. Well, it feels like it, okay? <laughs> Come on. Come on what? Throw on some clothes. We're going out. Going out? Where? We're on the villa. We are? Yeah. Let's go for a midnight stroll. See some stars. Breathe some night air. It'll cool us off. Maybe the moon will be out. It could be romantic. Yeah, let's not just like look outside and see if the moon's there or not, you know? That sounds perfect. Ready? Where are we going? You'll see when we get there. Come on. He reaches for your hand and leads you out the door into the night. Oh, what a nice little night nice scroll. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet view, right? How did you know that this was here? I did a little research. Wanted to take you somewhere nice. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Or you're just trying to butter us up. Well, mission accomplished. Wow, the stars are incredible. Look, a shooting star. Wow. <laughs> Make a wish. Okay, I wish to still date Cole after the show has finished to win with Cole by myself to survive. I wouldn't have wished any of these, but... Okay, I guess I'll say to still date him after we're finished. Yeah. What did you wish for? If I tell you, it might not come true. I wish for us to date after the show too. Wait, can you read Miles or something? 
How did you know that that's what I wished for? I don't know, just a gut feeling, I guess. Or player gut feeling, yeah. Yeah, because that's what I wish for too. He reaches for your hand and pulls you close. Oh, you're shivering. Oh yeah, cause she didn't bring a jacket. <laughs> it's a bit breezy out here. Take my jacket. Oh, how shiverless. I don't know how to say that word. But then you'll be cold. I won't, trust me, I'm never cold when you're around. Okay. Just thinking about you feels like a warm hug. <laughs> Okay, now you're doing too much. How about I give you a real hug as well then? Just to make sure you don't get cold. That sounds good. Madison? Yeah? Are you okay? Can I tell you something? Depends what it is. You can tell me anything. I feel... I feel connected to you. <laughs> okay. Thanks! I... yeah, okay. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel this pull to be with you, this urge to keep you close. I feel like I've known you in another life or something. Oh, that's so cute. Are all you these just lies. Like, I don't know if it's the truth or he's lying. I've never felt like this before, and honestly, when I thought we were getting evicted tonight, I felt this dread wash over me. Well, like, I mean, like, if you guys both get evicted, you could just stay together if you really have a connection, you know? That's what I don't get. Like a bucket of ice water dropped on my head. I've never felt so connected to anyone in my life and that scares me a little. On one hand, I feel more amazing than I ever have before. Every moment with you, our bond gets stronger. But the closer we get, the more I feel like if I lose you, I may not recover. The more precious you become to me, the less I feel like I can be without you. Okay, someone sounds a little bit clingy. Okay, let's tone it down a little bit. Sorry, I'm rambling. He sheepishly looks at you for reassurance and you reach for his hand and lean in closer to say, Colt, I feel the same way. I love that you can be vulnerable with me. Man up, it's reality TV, none of it's real. <laughs> Why well, is the last one or something I would say? I'd be like, yo, we've only seen it, known each other for like two days, relax. But you know, I guess I will, I'll be nice and I'll be like, I feel the same way, right? Like that's what normal people would say. <laughs> I feel the same way you do. No, you don't. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> You do? Yes. I feel such a deep connection to you. The thought of being apart, it's just unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> like my heart couldn't take it, you know? Exactly. Honestly, I came on the show looking for romance, but I never expected for it to hit me so hard. I understand why they call it falling for someone new. Because it's totally unstoppable. The connection we have, it's like gravity. And the more time I spend with you, the further I fall. Was that Cindy Lauper who said, if I fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting? Oh, if you fall. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. But it's not true. Time after time. I feel it. The more time I spend with you, the more I want. I want all of you. Take all of me. I'm all for you. Okay, relax, sir, okay? He kisses you firmly, claiming your mouth with a passionate kiss beneath the stars. You embrace him back, closing all the distance between you as you lose yourself in his touch. He deepens the kiss, dipping you down beneath the starlit sky. Okay, I feel like he's pulling out all the cards, and I don't know if it's because he's actually, like, romantic, or if he's playing us, you know? Before you know it, the two of you are back in bed. Your kisses grow heated, urgent. Wait a damn minute! How did we go from the beach to the bed so quick, like, um, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a re, like, you know? He holds you close, making you feel things you've never felt before. <laughs> okay, that's nice. <laughs> it's clear that this could be going somewhere, somewhere it hasn't yet gone. I want you so much. Mm, well, you're gonna have to wait, okay? Because we're not doing this tonight. It's been two days. Actually, I don't know how many days it's been, but it hasn't been that long. All right, okay? No. He whispers into your ears, setting shivers down your neck and all along your spine. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't. I'm actually not. I'm not. Okay. Guys. Tell me you want me as much as I want you. Take your relationship to, with Colt to the next level. Accidentally pass out and start soaring. <gasps> guys, imagine if I don't pay for this. Will you guys be mad? Like, just, you know, just knock out. Like, we could do that. Or we could take it to the next level. But, like, do I really want to do that? Not really. Um, but, but, when all in doubt, Spend the coin, right? Wrong, but you know, uncomfortability makes for, I don't know what it makes for, okay? But I'm spending the coin, y'all. Why am I doing this to myself? I want you tonight. No, I don't, okay? There's nowhere else I'd rather be. I know where I would rather be. Not here, yeah. The two you kiss again as he pulls you closer, so close you can feel his heart pumping wildly in his chest. Cold, make love. Oh my god, 
don't stop kissing me. Guys, see, now what if he's a player? And see, this is why I don't think things through properly, because now what if he was a player and we literally just did this? Um, the first one makes me a little bit uncomfortable to say, so I'm just gonna go with the second one. Yeah, don't stop kissing me. Okay. All through the night if that's what you wish. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna puke. He deepens your kiss even further, his lips leaving scorch marks as they trail along your neck. Okay. He continues moving, kissing down your neck along your throat until they nip at your collarbone. The two of you spend the night making out until the early rays of- Okay, they just made out. <laughs> Through your window. Yeah. I'm scared that he's a player and then like, this was just like, all, you know? The next morning you're happily sleeping Colt's arm when- Uh, what the hell is that? A fire alarm? What? I'm so confused. Is anyone else? Quick, let's evacuate. Okay. What's going on? In the kitchen, you see the host laughing as the alarm quiets. Sorry for the rude awakening, Capitals, but we thought we would give you time to prepare. Prepare for what? I need my beauty sleep, damn it! Well, beauty sleep will have to wait, ladies, because your partner's families will be here within the hour. I'm sorry, what? His family? We we just met each other. You want me to meet his family? Huh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I can do this. No, I can't. What? That's right. We thought it might be good for the girls to meet the people who raised our millionaires and players. Possibly probe them with a few questions to see if they can't work it out. Also, ladies, if you really are coupled with a millionaire, you'll want to make a good impression on your future in-laws. You have a kitchen stocked with ingredients to make breakfast for your partner's families. Up first is Madison and Colt. Yay! This is great. Yeah, this is so great. Like, I'm just so excited. I'm not stressed out to meet your parents or anything or your family. No. <laughs> is it? Yeah, my family will love you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Come on, let's get ready and whip up some breakfast. I know exactly what they like. I'll just get changed. Meet back here in five. Okay, we got that. That. Okay. We want something cute and respectable. The orange one's cute though. I like the orange. It's giving like... I don't know what it's giving, but it's giving, okay? Okay, I was thinking maybe we could make, uh, what's going on? Oh, um, he's gold. What are you wearing? An apron, cooking can be dirty business. I really hope he's not a player, guys, because he has a nice or a fake personality, I don't know. I can see you're wearing an apron, but that seems to be all you're wearing. Goodness, you're right. I guess I'm the naked chef. Yeah, see, that's not, that's not a thing that we want to see, you know? Yeah, no. He does a little dance while you burst into laughter. Pretty sure that's unsanitary too. I'm like 100% that's unsanitary. You're such an idiot. Hey, all I wanted to do was make you laugh so you'd feel less nervous. Well, it work. Now put some real clothes on and meet me back in the kitchen. On it. Cole returns to the kitchen just as you begin to crack eggs into a bowl. What are you making? I was gonna make fried eggs. Oh. Oh, oh, like bad? Oh, that sounds like a bad, oh. I know those are your favorite, but my mom's actually vegan. Oh, great, my bad, okay. She is? Yeah, so she won't eat eggs or any other dairy products. What should I make then? I have an awesome recipe for waffles without eggs. They use almond milk, flour, and vanilla extract. Let me show you. That sounds delicious. We should totally make Colts their favorite breakfast. Cook food they won't eat just because you like it? How am I supposed to do that? Okay, that's so rude and inconsiderate. Now I actually have to spend the coin because I can't do that. And we're trying to make a good impression then, right? But what if he's a player then we're making a good impression for no reason, you know? Let's do it. Show me the recipe and we'll make them. Awesome, they're gonna appreciate this so much. Um, okay, no, 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 no. Pretty sure that's not cooking cold. Yeah, uh, um, that's definitely not cooking, sir. Oh my gosh, we're coated. Food is ready. Let's leave it in the oven to keep warm while we get changed. Back in the room, Colt comes in from the shower and a super cute outfit. Oh, you look so nice. Yeah, my mom is a bit old fashioned about the way I dress. You let your mom decide what you're wearing? No comment. And I want her to like you, so I'm putting in the effort. You have to put in the effort for your mom to like me? Mm, this is giving red flags. We should just run. run. Which dress should I pick? Okay, we have that, that one. Oh, I like the pink. I think the pink's cute, yeah. That looks amazing. My parents will love you in that. Colt is so excited for me to meet his parents. I need to look amazing and hit. I just paid for breakfast and now you want me? Like, show them they aren't worth any effort. <sighs> now, <laughs> here's the thing, y'all. Like, I already paid for their breakfast. Do I need to pay for her outfit? Mm, probably. I kind of want to just say no, though. <laughs> just, just cause. But I guess I won't, because he's putting in so much effort. <laughs> I guess I'll do the same, right? I can't wait to meet them. Let's go meet them. I'm so nervous. You don't need to be. They're gonna love you as much as I do, okay? Mm, or 
or they're gonna hate you. You know, it's a 50-50 shot here. I promise you, they don't bite, but I do. So you better get moving or I'll give you a demonstration. Yeah, no, it's okay. We'll keep it walking, yeah. You giggle as he leads you back into the kitchen. Colt, mom. Oh, okay. He rushes to embrace his mom as his other mom pats him on the back. I can't believe you decided to join the show in the end. Oh, they know about it, okay. I told you these reality dating shows never work. She seems a bit snooty. And I told you I had to give love a chance and I'm glad I did. Mom, ma, this is Madison. Madison, wave shyly, wave not. I'm, I'll wave, wait, yeah. It's lovely to meet you. Doesn't she have lovely manners? And such a pretty girl. Why does a pretty girl like you need to go on a reality TV show to meet a guy? You know? It's tough on these street Mrs. Anderson, okay? Like, it's not. I think it's less that I needed to and more that I wanted to. I kind of felt something pushing me to apply. The guys I was meeting weren't looking for the same thing I was. And what were you looking for? I don't think I knew until I met your son. Wow, what a good response. <laughs> oh, I like her. She's just lovely. Now then, they said we were meeting you for breakfast. Yes, Madison has made breakfast for you guys. Thank you, dear. You cook too? I love cooking for you, of course. I do today. I love cook I hate cooking. I for you, of course, yeah. For you, of course. Aren't you sweet? Now, follow me. Here we are. Take a seat. Oh, waffles. Did Colt tell you I don't eat eggs? There isn't any milk in here, is there? I told Madison how you like it and she even improved on the recipe. She did? I added a little nutmeg. Wow, these are amazing. Nutmeg, who knew? It gives a kick. These are delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, now you're gonna have to marry this girl, Colt. Oh, okay. If his parents like us, this is good, right? Yeah, okay. I've never seen your mom's compliment anyone's cooking before because most people can't cook anything vegan. And hush your mouth, you act like the fastest way to your heart isn't through your belly. She's got me there. I'm glad you like them. So they didn't tell me what the whole rules and things are for the show. How do you guys win? Well, we have to prove that we're the best couple here. Kind of. There's a little bit of a twist in there. Like if you're a millionaire or not, yeah, that one. And that nobody is being dishonest. Dishonest how? Some of the guys here are looking for money, not love. Well, that's definitely not cult. You don't need money, do you, son? I do not. I don't know if his moms are on this or if they're just like really being honest, you know? Like I'm worrisome. Like is he, maybe he is rich. Maybe he's not, I don't know. The things I need are the things money can't buy. He gives you a foot. Mm, see that line right there is like, mm, that's what everyone says, so it's like, I don't know. He gives you a flirty wink and you feel your cheeks start to blush a little. Are you smitten already? Is it that obvious? I don't want to embarrass you, son, but I'm pretty sure it's noticeable from outer space. You burst out laughing, which makes Colt laugh, and before you know it, the entire table is giggling. Now then, what kind of mother would I be if I didn't tell you some embarrassing stories about Colt when he was young? Mom, please do not. Oh yes, the spelling bee back when he was eight. Oh, here we go. The four of you laugh and talk for a couple of hours until all the plates are cleared. I guess we should be making tracks now then. They said we only had two hours. It's been so good to see you both. You too. Madison, could you show me where the bathroom is before I go? She wants to talk to us, doesn't she? Yeah. Sure, you can use the one in our room. You wait for Colt's mom to come up from the bathroom. This room is beautiful, huh? Great view. Yeah, it's really stunning. Can I ask you a question now we're alone? Of course, do I have to answer? This doesn't sound... Of course, yeah. Of course. Do you have genuine feelings for my son? Uh Okay, straight into it. I do. That's all I need to hear. My boy has been hurt before. I know it takes two to tango, but I could see from the start she wasn't the one for him. She broke his heart, and I honestly thought he was in love with her until I saw the way he looked at you today. I have never seen my son light up the way he does when he looks at you. Thank you. Guys, maybe he's not a player, or he's just really falling for us. I don't know. I hope he's not, honestly. I know. I see it on your face. When you meet the love of your life, something just falls into place. It's like there were puzzle pieces you didn't know that were missing. When I met my wife, we were engaged within a month. Did Cole ever tell you that? No, he didn't. People said we were crazy for rushing it, said we had all the time in the world. But I think when you're not a conventional couple, there are other factors at play when it comes to marriage. We don't want to wait or lurk in the shadows. We wanted to shout our love from the rooftops for all to see. When you meet your soulmate, then it's hard for your soul to ever be apart from them again. You know what I mean? I think I'm starting to. Here, take the, she got some necklace? What's this? It's a gift for you, a little good luck charm. This is yours, I, I can't accept this. I won't take no for an answer. My wife gave this necklace to me, the first gift she ever gave me, and now I wanna give it to you. It brought me and my wife together, and now I trust it will do the same for you and Cole. It's your good luck charm, and I know it will get you guys to the final. And then you have the rest of your lives together. What do you say? I have to pay for a gift? Why is this a thing? Tell her it's tacky. Hug her and accept, hmm, I guess I'll, I can't not take it. And his parents are nice. Like, I can't just not, you know? Thank you. This means a lot to me. I promise to treasure it. Before you know it, it's time for the next recoupling. What? Already? 
Okay. You look beautiful. Why does he always wear ugly ass clothes to the recoupling? Thank you. That necklace, it looks like the one my mom has. Yes, she gave it to me when she was here for breakfast. A good luck charm to see us through to the finale. It looks beautiful on you. What an amazing sentiment. I can't wait to show it off on national TV tonight. Are you ready to pick me again? They haven't told us how they're deciding who gets to pick first yet. I'm kind of worried about it. At this point, I think all the girls know I'm totally smitten with you. Yeah, but Lilith would pick you just to spite me because she's actually a bitch. So, yeah. They wouldn't try to steal you away. Lilith would. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Yeah, but then I have to do something dramatic like fake my own death or swap places with one of the showrunners. You're such a fool. True, you make me a fool for you. Oh, wow. I can't help myself. Kiss him. Kiss him on the cheek. Affectionate hug. I guess I'll kiss him since it's free. <laughs> we better get there then. I'm definitely trying to hide my nerves for this recoupling. I just hope I get first pick or as close as possible. I don't want anyone else to steal Colt as their partner. Madison is nervous. I'm starting to learn all her little tells, but she has nothing to worry about. There's no way I'm coupling with anyone else. Backstage before the recoupling, Colt lingers close by you. Okay, ladies stage right, gentlemen stage left, as always. Colt gives you a little squeeze before heading to the spot on the stage. Okay, we'll be fine guys, right? Yeah. I'm anxious. Me too, girl. Does anyone know what we're doing? Who gets picked first? Maybe they didn't an audience poll or maybe they're about to hit us with another change in the rules i swear they changed the rules so fast in this show i'm worried i've gotten whiplash good evening you're watching don't hate the player where tonight we are recoupling that's right it's time once again for our couples to decide if they're sticking with what they know or if what they want to wade into uncharted waters if they worry that they're with a player then that may be exactly what they want to do too bad it's not up to them tonight i knew it why do we even have rules at this point if the hosts keep changing them <laughs> that's what i'm saying who's picking them the audience or the host or what if the parents are choosing yeah, that's worrisome. I've had enough of this. What do you mean we don't get to decide? That's right, we decided to shake things up a bit, keep it fresh. So tonight's couple will not be determined by our single ladies. Tonight's couple will be chosen by... Wow, seriously? It's just gonna end there? Okay, well guys, it's either gonna be chosen by the guys, the parents, the hosts, the audience. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna... I don't know. I don't even know what's gonna happen, but that was that. I can't believe we met, like the parents like that's like that was very scary but I think he's not I don't know if he's a player or not you guys I really don't but I hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up if you like me subscribe down below I love y'all don't forget to love yourself and until next time I'll see y'all later peace out scouts oh bye